Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to review uh, this book, Old Love Good Girls by Gail Godwin. This was one of the ones that I got from the um, dollar store. Um, I'll have my Dollar Tree haul linked in the description in case you are curious um, about the other books that I got there. But this one I read in I think early October and um, it sounded really good. It's about two two girls. They're writers. And they go to um, Love Good Junior College for Girls, and it's a historical fiction. They first become roommate, roommates in 1958, and then it follows them um, all throughout their lives. I think when they started the college, they're like 18-ish. Yeah, they they work on their different books. One of them writes more than the other. What are their names again? I forget. Farron and Mary. Um, and I think Farron writes more than Mary does. She has, she ends up getting a few more things published. Um, but yeah, also I apologize for any background noise. Um, my daughter's playing a game, so you're probably just hearing that, but it's, it's a cute little game. So, but anyway, um, so this book, I wasn't really sure if I would like it going into it, but um, I wanted to give it a chance anyways because it sounded really cozy, and it, it was. It was pretty cozy. Um, however, I think I ended up giving this three stars on Goodreads because it's all vibes and no plot. Well, very little plot. And some of the dialogue is really weird. Like at one point, one of the characters tells a side character that um, her father had died. And she's just like, oh, I know. We all knew him around here. And it's like, that's not how you are supposed to react when someone has just told you their father has died. So I thought that was really weird. Um, but I really loved the... Um, the way that they kept in touch over the years, Farron and Mary did. Um, it was also kind of weird because I was being, it's a lot of telling and not showing, especially when it comes to Farron's character. Um, oh, that reminds me, um, there are a couple of trigger warnings that I can think of off the top of my head for this one. Um, I think I go more in depth in my Goodreads review, so um, I'll have my Goodreads review um, linked for this book um, in the description, but two of the ones that I remember right now, because it's currently December 10th, so it's been a while since I've read this one, but um, Infant Death and what was the other one? Oh, um, Domestic Violence um, as far as like um, a father and child goes, um, and there are discussions of it happening between Farron's mother and her father. Yeah, there is that, um, and there is kind of a conversation that happens between Farron and her father, um, a bit later on that I, I found a little bit triggering, but it wasn't, like, too, too bad. Um, for me at least, but it was a little ridiculous. Um, the fact that it kind of took place in the first place, like, I'm not sure why that needed to happen, you know? I mean, I guess, I don't know. It's weird. There were a lot of just weird things that came into the story that didn't really fit. And again, I think that just kind of comes from it being a not very planned out plot. Um, random things was just kind of thrown in there, but I will, I will say this, although this book is all vibes and no plot, um, I liked the vibes. <laughs> so that's kind of what stopped this from being like a two star read for me and bumped it up to a three. Um, if I had liked the plot, if I felt like the plot made sense, um, it would have been bumped up to a four, but, um, alas, that's not what happened. So, also, I apologize for this lighting. This is the best I got right now. But, 
makes my face look really dark, like darker than the rest of my body, which is not, <laughs> it's not really how it is. But anyways, it would be a lot better if the plot made a bit more sense. Um, a lot of time jumps, which is to be expected. I didn't mind the time jumps, um, but, and back, kind of back to what I was saying about Farron's character is that like Mary and other characters, other more minor characters in the story describe Farron as being like, not like anyone that they've ever known and, you know, kind of like that not like other girls trope and like, because Farron's had a rough childhood and, um, you know, in teen years and stuff like that. So because of that, she's not like other girls, which I thought, I don't know, it was a little bit weird. Um, the author is a bit older. She's an elderly lady, so I'm wondering if maybe the reason why it seems weird for it to be written that way to me was because that's how people reacted when she was growing up to that kind of news. I don't know if that's wrong of me to think or say, but I apologize if that sounds insulting. I'm not trying to be. I'm just, I just don't understand from my perspective why people would react that way. And, you know, you know, we shouldn't treat victims of abuse, well, survivors of abuse, like victims. And, you know, we shouldn't baby anybody, if that makes sense. Like, treat them like normal people people because they are normal people you know what I mean so it's just I don't know it was weird in the execution and a lot of things do I recommend this book I guess if you like the all vibes and no plot kind of books then yes this would be a good book for you um and if none of the triggers that I mentioned bother you um if you're more like me and you're more plot and character driven no I would not pick this up <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say on this one. Quicker, um, review on this today, but, um, I think, I think that's probably for the best because otherwise I'm just going to talk in circles. I, yeah, I wish this had had more, but my expectations were low because this was the fourth out of, out of the five books that I picked up that I started reading. So by that point, my expectations for the Dollar Tree books had kind of gone down. So, you know, I wasn't expecting much and it somehow still let me down. <laughs> so I don't know about that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.